Hey there. I hope you're doing good. I had some pretty colors out and I wanted to do a quick dirty pour uh, before I left for the day while I'm at my studio. And I've got a 12 by 12 inch Arteza canvas panel. So it's not a canvas, it's a canvas panel. It's a flat board and they do really well on not warping that much. So I'm really pleased with the way the Arteza panels kind of hold up a little bit. But I wanted, <clears throat> I wanted to incorporate these pinks and greens together a little bit and just do a dirty pour. And I might leave it at that and I may not, I'm not sure. So let's just go ahead and get started. Everything is mixed one to one ratio with Oetrol Easy Flow, which is a European company. They're gracious enough to send me free product to demo and it's just like Floetrol in America, but Oetrol is European, so it's for the people outside of the United States that can't get a hold of Floetrol. It's another option for you, but it's pretty much the same exact thing. It's a latex paint conditioner, and I um, either have a drop of silicone per ounce of paint mixture in my colors, or some of the colors in my cups have a drop of OGX in the whole cup of paint. I use very little OGX. OGX is coconut milk hair serum. It has dimethicone in it. That's the key ingredient. So it is a hair product, but not all OGX hair products have dimethicone in it. So you have to make sure to look specifically at the ingredients. But a little drop goes a long way. So I just have a drop of it in these colors. And I'm going to just pour this and that. I've got a light orchid and a violet color and a bubblegum pink and a hot pink and I don't know if I want I don't think I'm a add yellow. I might put just a pinch of gold but I really don't want a lot of gold either. A light green a little bit of an emerald green, a lime green, which is sour apple, deco art. I'll put in a squirt of white. Then I go back, do a little bit more violet. The rest of the light orchid color, which is deco art. The hot pink, finish it off. That bubblegum pink. Maybe a little bit more emerald. And I think that's going to be it. Look at that in the cup. It's very interesting. So I just elevate my canvas panel off of my table so that I don't have my canvas panel laying in the paint. I'm also going to take a pin and poke a few holes in this cup and that releases the pressure and it allows the paint to flow down the cup. The great thing about canvas panels is you don't have to worry about the paint on the sides, you just have to worry about the surface. So that's the good part about that. I am going to let this sit for a few minutes, let the cells grow. I'll heat it real quick. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to um, let this sit for just a minute. Okay, so totally not what I expected. <laughs> Today's been one of those days where it just doesn't work out like I expected. And that's okay. Because I'm going to make the best of it one way or the other. I'm going to try this and I'm not sure how it will work. 
I'm going to try just smashing my balloon straight into this paint and see what happens. And it may not do anything special. So it did not do anything special. So I'm not going to do the balloon smash in the thing. I've got another option. And I've got some string that I'm going to put into it. I never do string pulls, ever. So we're going to give this a shot. I ended up tying a knot at the end of the string. How about that? So my paint on my canvas panel is really, really thick. So I would imagine this would be a little bit more successful if I didn't have so much paint on the canvas panel. And maybe that I didn't have silicone in the paint as well. But regardless, we're just playing, aren't we? We're having fun. Art is about releasing your tension. It's a very healing power. I think what I'll do, I've got another string that's a little bit short, but I think what I'm going to do is take straight white out of the bottle with no silicone, super thick. That's just Deco Art white paint. Get my string dipped in it. So there's no silicone in this, so hopefully it'll come out a little bit stronger. And I'm dripping white like crazy because I put it on super thick. See, the paint is so thick that it kind of swallows that white up. I'm going to clean up my tools and call this one done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, check out the links below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, subscribe to my videos so you can catch them as they come, as I load them up. So uh, this was just a dirty pour with strings just playing around just to see what I could do. Not crazy about it, but it was still fun. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you later.